Right, we're uh, good to go. They're like, end game. What a nerd. <laughs> Make sure the uh, stream has. That's uh, wild. They were picking on you. Right. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, hang on. I actually got to move my. Uh, not this. This stays there. I actually have to move my camera somewhere else because I don't want to be blocking the, the, uh, the skin. So, I'll be over here. Um, okay, so we're doing Ayani, right? I don't even know what to. Yes, we are. Uh, I will. I will start off by saying, if I, because I remember when Dead or Alive Six was announced, one of the biggest problems that a lot of the fans had is the girl's breast reduction occurred. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> and it was one of the bigger. The uh, it was one of the bigger complaints going on, and Ayani was one of the bigger characters people were complaining about that uh, she had a massive uh, breast reduction, according to them. So I guess um, I guess there's that for people who don't who didn't know about that whole situation. But with that said, uh, let's get started. This is her default outfit in Dead or Alive Six. Yeah, right. <laughs> <coughs> I gotta be honest. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. But hang on, let's let me let me take a look at the other yeah. color palettes as well. Yeah. Okay, this one actually looks a lot better. Uh, you know, personal yeah. opinion. And then there's the third one. Little red Robin Hood action going on here. All right, so uh, which one did you think was the best one? So uh, I'd probably go with the second one. The second 100%. one. Let's drop a nuke. Yeah, uh, <laughs> okay. so, the third one's not bad, but the second Take one's out all good. the people who don't want to talk about right, it. Alright, so we'll be rating this one since uh, <laughs> no, don't this is strong as three. What? That's horrible. So right off the bat, That's I do like game. the like, glossiness so of it, but it doesn't really yeah, have like, anything that pops murder. out the same way like, uh, as like, did dude, with her katana. Crap, dude. She does have a little butterfly thing at the bottom. I think those are her blades, but they don't I'm really... They don't really pop, you know? No, the thing that attracts the eye is the white hood. Yeah, no, the, the white hood is wonderfully done. I don't have spine shells. And either. the little back flaps too are actually really cool too. You have a little little slash design there as well. I believe in you. You also got a little bit of chain mail, but it looks of it. It looks like you have chain mail on the arms as well as the chest area, but I can't really tell because everything else is covered in fucking leather. <laughs> uh I'm gonna say six out of ten. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really too. I'm not really too pleased with the outfit. All things considered. So my build is so random, but I got. It's more on the basic so I'm level. To save you. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so what would you rate it? Yeah, maybe a five. Yeah, unfortunately, not uh not the best uh, new outfit she got for the game. Wow. So next one's gonna be her. I believe this is her original. Yeah, this is her original outfit in uh, Dead or Alive. This is the original default. Looking pretty good. And let's go and take a look at the other variations. We have a white variation as well. Looking nice. I love the uh, I love the middle color ribbon. It looks a lot better here. You were, yeah. And then we have it in black. I'm the only one, I guess, who wasn't. You Which know, also actually right. looks really this fucking was... nice. Uh, the inverted ribbon colors are a fucking well... Honestly, all three of these outfits are actually really fucking good, I think. Like, the first one's probably the weakest, but the two alternative colors are fucking no. great. Uh, kind of is. I mean, the costume good is though. good, until you pan around and see it's the big, giant friend, bow. Rampage, <laughs> I will say the giant ass bow is, is think, yeah. pretty fucking weird. <laughs> it's very anime. <laughs> it's kawaii. Those are supposed to be her butterfly wings, Kyle, didn't you know? <laughs> oh, wow, I'm retarded. Uh, <laughs> I do think this variation is the best though. If I had to, if I had to pick one, I do think this one beats the white one, just oh because the inverted gosh, bow looks better than the actual regular bow. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it that. Did he, I'll say, did he so, what are you thinking for? Yeah. Oh, there's also a little butterfly at the bottom, but unfortunately, okay, let me make sure on this one. Can, is there any way to? No. Okay, so unfortunately, there's no way to actually look at the entire skin, and I'm not going to go like, through loading the game, because I'm yeah, not going to buy all the DLC either. Like, I'm like the fourth way but there is a little butterfly. I don't, you can probably see it on the screen. There's a little butterfly oh, on the comes. bottom right area. Or bottom left. <clears throat> I'm going to 
okay, yeah, you can just say it. The butterfly is, doing is also present on the other ones, but on the white yeah. one, it's a white butterfly. Actually, the fucking right, four right, 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 That's a terrible this choice. This might be the end of the game. I do think... Yeah, this might be the end of the game. The other you game can't even see it. You can barely... F I, I, I don't get this. In a game that's supposed to be as sexualized as Dead or Alive, the fact that they don't let you go around looking at the fucking costumes kind of annoys me. <laughs> Like, for they fuck's sake, of all the features you're not going to have, actual model viewer is going to be one of them? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know if I should Kobe or wait for one of them. I'm going to give this one actually an 8 out of 10, because I really like the card design, and it, it just looks like a good skin, yeah, the actual the fabric there as well. Really and like, also, like you know, jiggle physics off the wazoo, so can't ignore that one. I'm going to say 7. If you get rid of the bow at the back, it's an 8. <laughs> it's just the bow's just not doing it for me. No, it's so distracting. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Okay, so this is her original battle armor from the... I believe this is also wow. the Ninja oh, Gaiden series, Lord. if I'm not mistaken. I think this is her outfit during... Nin I think this is her outfit during Ninja Gaiden 3, actually. I was gonna say, it's not the one from 2. I think that one. I I wonder if that one's here. I think that one is here actually. Uh, okay, so then we have this one as well. So it comes in black, purple with purple highlights, leather, and then it comes in red. Oh, actually, this one looks yeah, great with our fucking eyes. Actually. <laughs> What are you thinking, Kyle? Which one do you think's the uh, best Dude, one? Dude, come on! I'm thinking the purple one. The purple one? Because it matches her hair? Yeah. It, it, it just seems like something she'd wear. I'll, <clears> I'll <throat> be honest, a lot of the basic outfits in this game look really fucking good. Uh, I don't think we've run into like any like super horrible basic outfits so far. Like, they did a really good job with their actual costumes for six in the I'm base game. All, all the points I can, screw that. Alright, so then let's stick with this one. It's a really fucking good shade of purple, actually, and I love the pseudo armor. Yeah, I was gonna say because we're not gonna win this game. Because it kind of looks like leather, but then it kind of looks like it could be something a little more Wait, durable. Like, I also like how the dark purple works with the light purple hair. Yeah, and then you also have like in between the arm fragments and like right there on the side, you see like a, a pseudo violet, almost pseudo purple. I don't know if that's like a light purple. Yeah, it's, or... it's like three different shades. That's that a, would just work together. This is a really fucking good color palette. I'm not even that good either. It's just that we, like, these two dudes kind of I think I'm going to give it, I think I'm going to give this one 8 out of 10. I actually really like this one. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go at 8.5. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is a really uh, good skin. Alright, so next we have, um, I actually don't know where this skin comes from. But it's another, it's another battle attire <laughs> skin. I just guy. don't know from where. Look at the devil. Here he is. Uh... I don't know. No, in the meantime, it comes in white, green, and red. Now, I actually kind of, I actually have mixed feelings about this skin, because uh, when I got my ass beat by Ayane players online, a lot of the original Ayane players would wear this fucking skin and beat my ass every single time. So. I mean, I'd let, I'd let it beat me while wearing that. <laughs> So which one of the which one of the three do you think looks the best? The white one, the green one, or the red one? <clears throat> I'm not sure because the white one has has more to look at, but all the other colors so aren't too bad either. Down to me. I'm right, like, I'll I'm be honest. I think when it comes thing. to the base skins, it's really not like they're all really good. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna stick with the white one though, just because it's the one that I personally experience the receiving end of the most. <sighs> okay, okay, hang on a minute, hang on oh, a minute, I got this. Uh, let me just uh, oh, pause it real quickly. Anyway. Okay, oh, cool. so uh, yeah. sticking with the white outfit, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's some sort of... I don't know how to describe this outfit, it's like a leather... Hot referee. <laughs> hot referee works out just fine, I think, actually. Yeah, you know, we'll stick with, we'll stick with the hot referee outfit. Um, so obviously Ooh. we have, um, we have Jiggle Physics, well, we have a very complicated bra, I don't even think there's a fucking latch on that back design, 
and a um it looks like she's not wearing any pants as well but uh i would not even know better <laughs> what yeah it, it looks like it's just the straight up leotard outfit there uh again really good outfit uh and the material does oh look really nice oh my gosh it does, i wish the belt and I shit like the the metal shined um, more right, but reverse. uh besides that i think we'll give this one a seven or eight out of ten it's a really good skin as well yeah, <sighs> 8. 8.5, definitely. Good stuff. All right, next How up even we have me, though? an I, actual cheaper skin, so, so I'm curious stupid. what this one looks like. <clears throat> oh, okay, that's, um... <laughs> uh, that's unique. Uh, can you see it on your screen yet or no? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's... A... I don't think I've ever seen this skin before, actually. Okay, so it comes in red... Comes in black. Okay, so the gold is a lot. Oh, wait, is that a... Okay, so she's wearing short shorts in this one. Is she wearing short shorts in the first one, too, or is it pants? Okay, so she's wearing short shorts, so it's not pants. And then we have a white variation as well. Oh, that one actually looks fucking great. The designs there really make it stand out. I don't know, which one do you think was the best of the three? I'd probably go with the black one. Black one? Yes. It's got a nice inlet. Oh, so it's got a nice two were inlet right pattern. Here, so yeah, all right, sure, we can go with this one. All right, so uh, the tie, I have to talk about the tie. Oh, it's, that's fine, show. It moves, but it moves so... I don't think real ties actually move like that. Like, I've never used the short tie before, nor one hanging out like... You know, it I it is with ghost face. But I don't know if that's how like it actually moves in real life. It look, it was like a fucking pendulum. <laughs> I've never worn a tie, I'm so I can't realize. comment. <laughs> uh, we have some pretty cool like strapping right there. We have buttons all across. Yeah, I did too. And we do have nice floral designs. The jacket looks nice. There's a little design above the wrist area, pockets that aren't real pockets. Oh, uh. You can actually see that her thumb is actually uh, meshing into the skin. Uh, I don't know if you see the uh, little programming error there. Go to cut him some slack. <laughs> um, nothing really much going on in the back. I guess you do see a little more of her uh, of her ass here, but nothing really too much here. Uh, the belt is shiny, which is nice. The gold, she has, uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, but she has a little gold design in her hair instead of the usual ribbon. And she has two gold butterflies as well going on, so. <clears throat> I, I think the back would have benefited if it had some sort of design. Yeah, hang on, let me check and see if the others, are, if any of the others have a design. Nope. I'm glad it actually stays in the same position as well. Okay, okay now, so they're all missing a design. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because it is a nice looking skin, but it feels incomplete. If it, if it had like a back design and maybe like a weapon somewhere, I think this would be an easy 9 out of 10. It's a really nice looking skin. Yeah, it, it reminds me of clothes that you buy. It's like it looks great at the front, but it looks bland at the back. Yeah, this needed this needed a back design of some kind. That's that's a lot of that's a lot of space that's just being put to waste. All right, so the deluxe costume, which I'd argue the deluxe pack is probably the best one, and oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, there's not really too much to. Oh, well, I guess there. It, I guess you can see a bra strap this time. So there's that. She's got two little straps on her side. It, it's basically like Kasumi's. I think it's like a a little more practical version of Kasumi's outfit, maybe. Uh, there's a little dagger on her leg, and there is fishnets in between both of her, like, side of her legs. Um, mm. Well, to be perfectly honest, this one's gonna have to be sold strictly on, like, sexual appeal alone. So, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna this one 9 out of 10. I actually, I actually do like the way the material looks and shit. For, for how little there is. It's probably just me, but it kind of bothers me that she doesn't have a, a second black glove. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it makes sense because a lot of people, a lot of people have like the band on one end, and then you know the other one, you have the uh, the glove. So it kind of makes sense aesthetically, but I can see how that'd be like. It's not symmetrical, and that bothers me. <laughs> 
Especially when, like, on her shoulder she has the two, like, straps. So, like, there's symmetry up until the bottom portion. Yeah, that'd be fun if they didn't try and go for, like, the symmetry when they when it started. Yeah, when you go up to down, there's symmetry. There's a little red falcon also. No, it's a Team Ninja logo on her fucking uh, short there. Also, one short is shorter than the other. Yeah, I, th- I think I'm staying with an 8 or 9 out of 10 on this one. Because uh, what, what it's supposed to do, it gets done well. For sexual design, definitely a 9. Yeah. And uh, that's what we mainly had to grade this skin on, personally, I think. Because there's just not that much else to really work with here. With a million blood points, I mean, she's I got good abs. I mean, yeah, but honestly, like... Every girl in this game is going to have that, except for maybe Mila, because I think hers are just way more defined in comparison. So, like, they all have, like, generic level, and then she's got, like, actual abs. Moving on. Mila, yeah. Oh, you can go to Tim, <clears throat> you're going to say. Mila, that's the boxer, right? Yeah. Oh. You mean Boxing Ruby. <laughs> And next we have the wedding outfit the coming from the first DLC pack for... No, I think this might be the second. I don't think she was in the original DLC pack for the wedding outfit. Uh, decent floral design. You have this weird little purple mirror necklace. And you have a flower bouquet. No, not flower bouquet. A flower veil on top. Purple ribbons all across. And two little shoulder... Pads? I don't really know what to call those. So what do you think? I mean, it's like all other wedding outfits. It looks good, but it's basic. I think there might be one character who actually has like a genuinely good design, but I can't remember what. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10, though. Because uh, it, it's not bad, but it's not really... It, for yeah, me, just having the pattern... That. Uh, makes it worth uh, 7 out of 10. Also, the little flowers on top. You're giving it a 7 out of 10 or a 6 out of 10? No, I'll give it a 7. Alright, so next up, uh, the pirate lineup. And I'm curious if she has the hat or not. And she has the hat. <laughs> oh, crust. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to ignore the hat for a minute. Um... Honestly, I think her pirate outfit might be one of the weaker ones in general. Yeah, you have the jiggle physics, and yeah, you got the nice little space no, right there. I tell you what, if you got rid of the hat, I wouldn't even know it's supposed to be a pirate outfit. Yeah. Also, like her, oh, her like shoulder, like her wrists—they're too big for her. I think with Kasumi, they fit on like tight, but with her, they're loose. It doesn't really make sense how she has them it on. Like, it's me, but is it though? It looks like it's just part of the clothes. Yeah, and. Her actual, like, metal area on the center, her metal belt, uh, it's not shiny enough. It doesn't look polished, it, and it's really hard to see a design. The leather does look worn, and it does have nice little worn effects, which... And, I've um, just realized she thing. can't... She definitely can't breathe. She's got a belt and a girdle. <laughs> That's her training. The poor organs. <laughs> what or Dude, they're all in their chest area. How can you be? You are the old Kate. <laughs> uh, De- definitely going for that one piece look. <laughs> I'm going to be honest here. I think this might be the weakest one of the pirate outfits. So, well, because I've seen them all. You haven't yet. But I think this might be either one of the weakest or the weakest pirate skin. It's going to be a... Hang on one second. I think it's going to be a 6 or 5 out of 10 for me on this one. I'm a little surprised on that one. I thought this one would have been better from what I remember. But uh, Yeah. It, this is the one where I'm just like, it needs the hat, otherwise I wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, it's just not going to be all that good. It's going to be a 5 out of 10 for me. <sighs> Seaside Eden. Uh, this is the bikini outfit set, uh, but unlike the other bikini girls, she actually has a bit more of an interesting design because she has a towel wrapped around her with an actual butterfly design. Hmm. Uh, it's a nice shade of purple. Compliments her uh, hair and shit. Uh, I feel like maybe the bra should have been red. I think that would have helped it a little better. But uh, I'll be honest. The Seaside Eden was kind of a... Like, I get it. It's a bikini set. But I don't know. Like, in this game, the whole bikini set was kind of weak all across the board. 
I mean, you can see the zigzag tail fit too if you go to the beach or any local pool. Well, I think I'm gonna give this one a uh, I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten because I do think it's better than the pirate outfit. But uh, I guess I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. See, Saeed in general is kind of a letdown. I'll give it a five. Yeah, it's not really much to work with here. Uh, Summer Breeze collection. Uh, okay. I think it is better than Kasumi's. I, I will say that. <laughs> it's, a nice, I mean, it's a nice floral design. I mean, this has to be for farmers or, or at least people who... Because, like... That straw hat just there, like, just fucking... Just, like, you just don't get it. I mean, I expect it to be sitting on a wagon... Being told a hush woman, it's not your turn to talk. <laughs> it's definitely one of the more old fashioned. I have three people watching this. Who the fuck else is watching uh... this? <laughs> okay, what How dare they, how dare they watch? <laughs> um it's still ultimately a weak skin for me, because while the material does look nice, it's just ultimately just weak. And also, the straw hat doesn't help matters. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I think it's just a, a weak yeah, outfit. Yeah, it's just, um, it's just, yeah, I'm gonna have to go with a uh, 5 out of 10, because I do think the Seaside Eden skin's a little better. And not let me, uh, I'm gonna go for 4. Ooh, 4. Alright, so next we have the Morphine Ninja costume. Now, now this skin off. does turn Maybe into a gold up. variation, if I remember. Oh, so first off, uh, actually, uh, I mentioned After Effect. This one actually looks pretty good. Mm, okay, so f finally, Damn. some decent fucking shiny metal. Uh, wow, this one really emphasizes her rear. Um, <laughs> wait, there's fucking jiggle physics on fucking this hard ass tight leather. Okay, I tried. Uh, uh I'm fishnets, I, I tried. uh, gold. I like it. Oh yeah, no, it's it's definitely fucking a good skin. I uh, I actually wasn't expecting it to be to look this good. Um, so looks like, super nice and super intimidating as well, especially with the mask. And then you have a gold sword there with an actual banana little hill with it. I think this might be the first 10 out of 10 skin she has. I'm going to be honest with you. I, I really freaking like it. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how she gets colors. into it. but I don't know how she gets into it, but well done. <laughs> okay, I think... I think right there on the back, because you see three latches... Don't tell me that's a Mori. That's a, that's I think what will happen is it's a one piece so she takes it off with the back latches and then when she gets ready to put it on Dude, she puts it on and just and latches I, someone else latches it up for her even uh, who the fuck is, you, is latching it on for her you know, I don't know maybe her fucking work, brother or something she's like hey you go in the battle like, like fucking do this for me like, Hey, what are you doing, step bro? You want to <laughs> help me? Right now. <laughs> yes, hey, dude. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm uh, gonna, I'm yeah, gonna no, I'm gonna just want to turn on the right like, Hey, wait, how do I move again? Yeah. Well, let's find out if it is. So next one is the revival bunny outfit. It's not bad, but after getting just like immediately past like that good skin, it's a little, it's a little boring. <laughs> I mean, it'd be good if she was working at a casino, I guess. Well, that's the idea, clearly, or something along those lines. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, because it is better than the ones above, but uh, after just seeing Morphe Ninja, it's just not really... It's not really doing yeah. anything. Yeah. Right, this map oh, Next up, which party costume? <laughs> Alright, uh, a little more... A little... And this, this one is better than Kasumi's. Yo, say psych. Um, say psych. It is shiny, Be which is one of my criteria I think really what helps out there. And the leather does look like leather this time around. This does look like a genuine outfit instead of uh, the he's cosplay. Got, he's got that from the, it still looks like cosplay, the, but it looks like good match. cosplay. This one at least is a lot better than her sister's. Uh, yeah. Are there. And she has the top part of her short shorts unbuttoned. Oh, he's on some yes. Already. Uh, I'm gonna give this one. A, I'm gonna give this one eight out of ten because mainly the back, the hood, and the back of the hood just looks really fucking weird. I'll give this a seven and a half. All right. 
This is the season three pass bonus costume. Um, it's been, we already okay. So it's her original design. I believe in you, Kent. A stronger purple color palette. Actual design, I think, all across it, and we still have the bow. <laughs> I don't know. This one's too purple. It, it's too purple. <laughs> Dang. That's uh, sad. Should I also point out this skin cost it technically like seventy to ninety dollars because that's how much the season pass cost. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen anyone rock this skin, and I think that's the reason why. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a five out of ten because I honestly like the black one earlier better, and honestly the ones earlier were better too. Yeah, the three previous colors were way better than that. Oh, thank the Lord. I was going to say, please don't come this way. Let me finish yeah, this Yeah, so I'm going to give this one a five. Oh, and I still pop she, she looks good in purple, just not bright purple. Yeah, it doesn't really match her hair all that well, does it? All right, next up, the su Revival good Hot job. Summer costume. Steve, what the hell are you doing? It's going to be an instant right now time for me. <laughs> Hmm. All it is, all it is, is literally a bikini with a shirt on. Uh, I, I, I know it's gonna sound weird, but that makes all the difference. <laughs> Haven't been shocked once yet. Uh, there also is a necklace that is appropriately shiny, but it, it has the weird jiggle physics all the other items have, or all the weird like movement physics, where like it doesn't look natural. Um, no, I popped the gen. That's a pretty strong bra ring. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's gonna be like a, it's gonna be like eight or nine out of ten for me. Uh, no, the the shirt just makes the fucking skin for me. I, I don't like pure bikini skins on their own, but when you throw like a shirt in or something, it's just like oh, something just fucking makes it happen. <laughs> ah, a mystery man. <laughs> so what about you? Well, I like the shirt. Um probably still gonna give it about seven and a half yeah uh, i guess i should mention as well that it is that the shirt does end up being see-through in water there's not that many water stages but i should mention. oh them. hey <laughs> all right uh energy up train wear i mentioned this last time but this is her uh this is from the crossover uh it's gonna be another uh, it's gonna be another eight or nine out wait she has a fucking zipper she has a fucking zipper right there in the front. What the fuck? Why does I... she have a fly? Yeah, that's... That's weird. I I can't tell if she's wearing pants or not, because if she's wearing shorts, it extends far enough to where I can't see. Um, That's a weird zipper. I've never seen anyone in a fucking sports attire wearing a fucking zipper. If you can, okay, I was just um, Easier, easier to commit footer with. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so normally the, you know, this man. skin pack is see through. Oh my light. gosh, I three sixty. I don't know and I if still hers is see through because she's not wearing a bra. Like you can even see like the a bit of under it, under cleavage. And I'm boosted. What am I doing? And... <laughs> Oh my god! I strongly doubt she's wearing a bra, so I don't. I don't know if this one's see through or not. I've never fought anyone with this skin. And because stupid ass Steve ran across the map, I didn't get. Come, someone put her into a water Son into a water god. arena. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean it's possible. It's just that like, <laughs> I think this one's two ninety. I think this one might be the a two ninety nine skin because it is a crossover. Because the crossovers do cost more than like normal skins. Oh my uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say um, She's insane. I would have given it eight or nine out of ten because I really like sports attires like this or gym attires, but uh, that zipper is just fucking weird. It's gonna be a seven or six out of ten for me. That zipper, that zipper makes all the fucking difference. Dude, these matches are so frustrating. Our teammates it's are so, just stupid. It's so man. <laughs> <laughs> it works perfectly for my joke. Like, I mean, like, yeah, you can take it, like, in a sexual round, like, be like, oh, you know, easy action, but it just looks fucking weird. Devour Hope. I'm gonna have to give it a, I'm gonna have to give it a 7 out of 10. And I missed my DS. The only reason it's not, like, any lower is because I really like this type of outfit. <laughs> what a, 
What a what are you call what are you gonna give it? Yeah, go for it. What a uh what yeah, a probably really a seven. awesome guy. He for brings a warning shame. and he still has devour hope. Uh okay, so we have the Santa skin again as well, this time on Ayane. Yeah, she did. I don't remember when we gave the Kasumi one, but I felt like it looked better on Kasumi. Go for it. I mean, yeah. I'm regardless. Because he's already here. Yep. I'm going to give it another 7 out of 10 because the bell does move and it is shiny. And the outfit order. itself doesn't look bad. But, uh... She doesn't pull it off the way her sister does. I'll probably give it a solid eye. Alright. Santa Bikini? Wait, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. I, I need to see this. No, no they don't. I thought the bells in the middle move, but they don't. I deep pipped that game. Uh, I mentioned this last time. Uh, we have a rank one survival. I really did not like the Santa and then the other Bikini outfit. Because this came out immediately after Santa's Helper. Uh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a 2 out of 10 for me. And the only reason it's not 1 out of 10 is because... No... Okay, I gotta be a bit more objective here because I gave the original bikini one a five out of ten, or I think a six out of ten, and this one is better. Ironic, this one actually is better than her original bikini by a pretty decent margin. Um, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten only because she actually makes it work better than the other girls. But this skin, this was probably like my least favorite skin pack. I think it would have worked better if she didn't go with pigtails. Yeah, that's also really fucking weird. I don't understand pigtails at all. Especially, like, on grown women. It's just weird. It's alright if you're a child, but once you get past a certain age... Yeah, that's just fucking weird. I'm dropping it down to a fucking five. Alright. I, I doubt there is, but if there are any women watching and you get pigtails, hey, get a proper hairstyle. <laughs> I just, don't dress like jail bait. I don't know. Like, at least make them longer than that. That's just fucking... That's just wrong. <laughs> Alright, uh, so what's your what's your rating for it? Uh, maybe five and a half. Alright, moving on to the Nova sci-fi bodysuit. The pink does light up, in case you're wondering. In a match, the pink will light up. The little pink highlights will actually light up. I want to see what this guy was running, though. Oh, no. It is better than Kasumi's version. It is. Uh, this one's way better than Kasumi's. Uh, I do like the leather setup. Um... It's probably what they're trying to go for, but she looks like a cyberpunk cat, cat girl. Yeah, it's definitely the idea we're trying to go for. Um, short okay. shorts, looks like a little blaster on the side. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, because um, it is a little above average, but um, it's not. It's nowhere near as good as the Ninja one was. Yeah, it's pretty much a bare minimum good costume. Alright. Uh, so what's your rating for it? Mm. Uh, no. No. Maybe six and a half. Not enough to just quite make seven. No, it, it feels like there needs to be like <sighs> like one more piece of clothing and it could probably make it there. Oh, actually, uh, uh, you can actually see that the pink lights up. If you're paying attention, the pink will like actually be having effects right now. You actually see it light up and de-light up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cause it's in, definitely noticeable with the armband. Yeah, uh, I, I have to look at the other areas, but the other areas do light up in D light as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my seven out of ten though. So you'll stick with your six point five. Yeah. All right. Next up, maid costume. The obligatory maid costume. Uh, sh hers does look better than uh, Kasumi's because I remember Kasumi's was kind of weird, but hers looks way better. Uh, it's your standard French maid though, with the little purple bow. Uh, the material is noticeable, like the texture is noticeable. Looks like some sort of soft material, but 
Can't really see much there with the white texture. Well, I don't really much want to say on this one. It's uh, just a standard Yeah, pretty much. I'm going to give this one another 7 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to go with the same as the last 6.5. Alright, next up, the Allure Ma Mandarin dress. Oh, that's a nice skin already. I remember it looking really good on Kasumi as well. Uh, honestly, this set was just a fucking really well done set. Ooh. That rear Ooh, I like, is heavily, I like that. That rear is heavily emphasized, and there's actual designs everywhere on the fucking skin. Oh, and I guess it's red underneath as well. So it's black and fucking purple on the outside, but it's got a red in layer as well. Oh, that looks fucking great. That would explain the red on a ribbon then as well, matching her eyes. Ah, yeah. That's a good I like the white flower too. Yeah, no, this one's a really fucking good skin. This one was... Hmm... I think I'm gonna give this one a ten out of ten. I think that's I think that's why I get a ten out of ten for me. Just depressing times. Oh, Kyle, are you still there? It's okay. Boy. So, I said I think I'm going to get this out there a 10 out of 10, because this one is, uh, this one really freaking Oh, yeah, good. this, this one is definitely a really good one. Like, everything from the colors and the designs. Aren't you actually guys? They really did a good job this with this one. This is a really solid fucking skin. I thought you were there until Monday. Like, I didn't even realize that, that the boob window was a love heart. You know, I noticed that, but no, I wasn't sure if that's what it was supposed to be or not. If that's what it was supposed to be, then yeah, even for ten out of ten, this is yeah, it's just a like really well done sure. fucking skin. Yeah. So it's rating for it because I'm I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. I'll, I'll I think this one competes with. This is more. definitely a ten out of ten. All right, and now since we basically just fucking flowers for all drawn our eyes, let's move on to the next one again. Uh, gust. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, another crossover skin, and this one is... Oh, that is the weirdest looking ponytail I've ever fucking seen. Weren't you saying that your dogs were killing you? I have yet to have her move. <laughs> what the... Um... I uh, I don't know what to say about this skin. I mean, you got gold, you got the white. Let's just go play Fortnite. I'm not down to play these freaking I, um... one game every time. Oh, hour. okay. Right. Um, <laughs> that's a very very long ponytail. It's an awkward ponytail. It doesn't even look like it fits on her hair. Look at it. I don't. It looks weird oh. seeing her with. It looks like a hair extension. It looks like yeah. It has to be a hair extension. It looks fake as shit. That's, um, I think it's an ugly outfit, personally. <laughs> like, the, yeah, not the good. back's not bad, but, like, then she also has, like, a pseudo tail thing as yeah, well. Like, oh. <laughs> oh, this outfit just fucking, it's no, too much. Like I'm going to give this one, I think, maybe a three or two out of ten. This one's fucking awful. Yeah, this is a four. This is fucking atrocious. Nothing, dude. nothing really works. So the white and the gold is fine. So the video finally came out of the surveillance camera. He wasn't struggling, and then three of them were actually kneeling on him. Okay. Very weird. Okay, I, I do want to point out I am recording the video right now, but thank you. Uh, let's go start private. Learn to edit. I was gonna say let learn to edit. Well, no, I mean these are all just gonna be one solid take, so that's uh, yeah, people know what's going on. Um. Yeah, it's only two out of ten for me. This, this outfit sucks. This is uh, this is the weirdest combination. I didn't even know it was possible to make an outfit suck this badly on a girl outside of a bikini, but uh, I guess I was fucking wrong. It's like yeah, a, just it looks awful. How do you fuck up this canvas? 
right. Moving on to... It looks, like, so, it, oh, it looks like someone's shitty creative character on Soul Calibur. <laughs> this is an actual crossover. I don't know who this it's actual cool. character is, but this is an actual costume on a character out there. Yeah. I don't know what the series is, though. I feel like you could do Ugh, and someone paid better. them to make that design? But you're I, I will hope that this design is better on the actual person. That's all I'm going to say. You lack it has to. You lack focus. Maybe her ponytail looks real and she has a real tail. <laughs> Alright, so Revival High Society. <laughs> You're like, dang, alright, that's not the support I was expecting, but okay. Um, we saw something similar to this already with the tie, but uh, once again, like I mentioned with the... Oh, and the fingers are clipping again. Her, her skins clip a lot. The other character... Uh, uh, Ayane did not... Her customer did not clip anywhere near as hard as she did with her skins. When you rotated her, I just realized, damn, she's gotten an ass on this one dude a lot of these skins have just been emphasizing that fucking like ass like good lord if you're an ass man this these half these skins were just godsends what the heck is god god damn you can put you can put the entire tray on that <laughs> have it, don't you have to go to sleep in t minus uh the black looks gray as well it look, the texture looks fucking like you could touch it uh, the white looks great too here. I don't know if her white is see through on this We're skin. On I've the, never. The like this skin, is, uh, this skin was released when the I'm game was basically told it's not like it's So play. I don't, I've never seen anyone fight with this skin. I don't know if it's see through, but I'd make a bet it's see through probably. Most of the white fabric in this game is see through. I think Slipper Team looks actually pretty cool too. Hmm. So I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. I think six or seven out of ten because uh, it's not awful, but I think the original, like her original high society outfits, look better. Are you gonna come play up? Yeah, but uh, like, what, Mister? Is, is the junk in the trunk? Uh, is the junk in the trunk making you change? Making you lose your mind there? Like, no, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. It just reminds me of the of the scene in Robots where they meet the big ass robot and she can't move in her own house. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> Robots was a movie I forgot about until like I started seeing like a little picture again. I'm like, oh yeah, that movie was a thing. Robots is a movie where you're just like, that was a movie. Then you watch it again and you go, this was a fucking movie. How did I forget it? <laughs> Personally, I like the Meet the Robinsons better, if you're seeing that one. I have, couldn't get into it. I saw it in Spanish, so I think that had a different effect on me. But, uh, I don't know, I, I like this. I liked it. So this outfit, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go 7 out of 10. Because it's not bad, but it's uh, we've already seen a little something of it on her already. So would you say meet the Robertsons in Spanish is El Good? <laughs> El Bueno. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Uh, probably a four. It's very basic. All right. So the last one is might be uh, the most disappointing schoolgirl outfit. Uh, I think because I don't know if it's her or if someone else has the most disappointing one. School uniform. It's her, yeah. This is, this is this is trash. <laughs> Actually, no. Okay, so I don't, oh. I don't like I do not like the outfit, but looking at it, on, I I don't like using this term, but she gets so fucking many. thick in this outfit. Like, like gosh darn, she goes from being a skinny girl on this one to being like a fucking. Looking yeah, like a fucking Amazon over here with it all these fucking goes layers. Up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't envy that. Like fuck me. I, I wish I I wish like my clothes made me look that fat no. so that way I can say I'm not that fat. You know, cause uh, I've been what I've, I've been f- f- fortunate fuck. enough to uh, not the first to thing fucking uh, ten layers. But the first thing I would do is get rid of that fucking skirt because that is ugly. That plaid skirt just. It's just not selling it for me. I feel like I have to clean it. No, my, it's uh, just like. <laughs> it's hard to make brown look good on clothes. How you, if it's how not you, a jacket, it's hard to make it look good. It's just not there. The, 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 the science hasn't gone that far yet. <laughs> and it's like checker. It, it, not, not like checker, but it's like. It looks like a Scottish kilt as well. Have they given you results yet? And Scottish like kilts, as we all know, only look good in red. <laughs> Here's something, dude. Yeah, uh, 
the skirt's just not doing it. Maybe if it was like a different color, I think it'd look better. I think if it was red, it'd be a better outfit. I think if the skirt was fucking red, I think that would make it a massive improvement right off the bat. But honestly, like anyone who's anyone who's gone to school and they know what uniforms look, look like, like, what school on, in their right mind would There's say yes? Mass. That's that's the uniform we're going with. I want you to hold that thought for when we get to, T- to yeah. Tina or fucking Rachel. Because you've already seen that skin, I think, but oh, man. <laughs> I want I want you to hold on to that little nugget there. <laughs> okay, so the jacket looks fine. And again, the clipping, man, she, she clips on fucking everything. <laughs> New power for Ayane, fucking transmutation or fucking, what is it, intangibility? I unfortunately have enough to be able to afford Those to hands be penetrating. Money, so, um... <laughs> I'm actually good there. Always looking for a sister. Hmm. Wonder why. Somebody landed in the, uh, uh, in the... Again, she looks really fucking, like, just really thick here. And then, again, the arms have the problem where you can see there's a lot of fucking empty space on them as well. Oof. Okay. What about the buttons? Maybe the buttons will be a saving grace. Oh, nope, the buttons suck too. Oh, there's more buttons, but they fucking suck anyways. The jacket texture does look good. That's like its only real saving. The okay? textures look good on the skin. That's like its only saving grace. Uh, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 only because the textures look so freaking good. I'm coming. But that's... I'd say probably swap the jacket and the Me, skirt's Supreme color. Leader ben. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that, that would make it look a lot better. Oh, Lord. Okay, so uh, I guess first off, what was her best skin? We'll start off there. Uh, we're between the alluring the Mandarin one? dress. You know this fucking. Ooh. Oh, you're, you're walking as a plant. Yeah, I have to say, Eva, the alluring Mandarin like, or the um ninja costume, the ninja right? one. Yeah, no, absolutely. This is this is the competition here. None of the other skins came close to these two. But so, in your personal opinion, which one was the better skin? I'd probably have to go with the Mandarin. Yeah, as much as I like the ninja outfit, the Mandarin, oh, that fucking color, those designs. Caitlin, you're like, X. That's just fucking great. (laughs) Yeah, I I agree. I agree. This is this is this is her best skin. Now, uh, obviously the question on the table, uh, what would you overall rate her skins as a character? As a character, she has a lot of very, not bad, but okay skins, and two very, very good ones. I think I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10. I don't know. I, I need to go back into my other video so I can keep track of what we what we tiered the characters, but I think I'm going to give her a 7 out of 10, because she had a lot of mediocre shit going on here. Like, the good was yeah. fucking great, but there was mediocre uh-huh. everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I've still got time if you want to still do rigs. Okay, All right, yeah, sounds good. Uh, so, I got a 7 out of 10. Uh, we might yeah. I, might change that later, depending on uh, me personally. But let's get started with Rig. And he's not rocking that many costumes. So, obviously, basic is going to be a classic oh, jacket-hoodie sh- combo. I was going to say, I heard somebody. We got... Okay, so... Looking like a kickboxing Alex Mercer. Uh, first off, thank God he has tattoos. Cause if he had all this skin and no tattoos, this would be a super bad fucking skin. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, there he is. So right off the bat, good save with the tattoos. Ta- if you're gonna have a character have nothing on, I got him. I, I hit him. You want to give them some form of tattoo so they they're not boring to look at. Is we she have. Oh fuck! It's orange. That instantly get that instantly wins points with me. White and orange. That's a fucking beautiful color scheme choice. Got him. Yo. That's pretty good. And red and fuck me, he's got good, good job, fucking. Kid. They're simple, but they're effective. <laughs> you want to take those shields? I'll go say. Oh man, this man, this man. Fuck all the colors look good. Yeah, this is like um. All right, and then yeah, we do need to go. In. I think I think besides maybe bass, I think this might be the first like just probably best fucking default skin I think cause I know Kasumi's was good but Kasumi was only good in a specific skin type color but his is good all across the board yeah totally. I'm gonna go with the white I'm gonna go with the white and orange one that, that one's fucking that one's fucking great the white and orange is a solid eight 
I'm gonna give it a nine. I I, I don't no, know, but it's sense. just um, its simplicity like is just the, fucking the, great. The and also, he's got fucking green pants to yeah, match yeah. the white. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm, uh, that's that might, that's a strong opener. A shame it's like one of his only two fucking skins. <laughs> 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 All right. So next up is his classic outfit or his DOA five outfit, if I'm mistaken. Okay, we are gonna play. All right. He's got weird ears. <laughs> I, I don't like that anywhere near as much. <laughs> he needs the Imagine heart. Imagine we steal the hood. <laughs> oh, fuck me, no. Imagine being told you're only hot when you have the hood on. <laughs> You know okay, okay. I'm gonna try to grow the. I'm gonna try. Okay, he has a hood. He has a fucking hood. Wear the hood, you bastard. So there is a hood on it. Keep that in mind. That imagine it hooded. It looks like a USC fighter walking around in street clothes. <laughs> I think that is the idea here. Um, the color palette is not. Fuck me. This is a really nice color palette. You can see the textures and everything. He's Fox wearing Fox two Fox Fox fucking Fox hoodies, Fox. and he's not wearing a fucking hood. Are you kidding Let's go. me? Let's go. <laughs> Psych! This psychopath has two separate hoodies and refuses to wear either of them. <laughs> it irks me. Who he cares? must be really, really cold. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, I'm going to say, the, the, I'm going to be honest here. I think the, the third Son one was the best one of these three. God. The third one, the last one. I think that was the best color palette of all three of them. <laughs> Honestly, that was awesome. I feel like I, feel I like do I'm like the stickers. That have to be the coolest. I like the belt. <laughs> I'm probably gonna go two, and one is the worst it of them. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Right yeah one is the, the uh, this green does not right help in the slightest. Right, we'll stick with two then. You know what? It works. Uh, great color of blue, nice brown, uh, good secondary colors. The fucking zippers are nice and shiny. <laughs> the belt buckle is also pretty shiny too. <laughs> If he was wearing a hoodie, I think this could be a solid 10 out of 10, but uh, his ears, man, his face just ruins it. Hey, it was a good idea. Like, if I was going like to he got, it would he's fucking got look ben awful. Still ahead. He's got a Ben still ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's just, um, I mean, it's not about me. His face ruins it. It, it. This is me if I was wearing this outfit, and I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I would not look good in this outfit. No. <sighs> outfit could be 10 out of 10 potential. On him, the way he's doing it, I'm gonna have to give it an eight out of ten because the outfit still looks good, but his face. I mean, just if, if, if we're comparing, if we if we're comparing what we look like in the different costumes, I think yeah, I could I could like rock the, the uh, Mandarin. The skin, uh, big <laughs> <laughs> yep. like perfect for you. I, you know what, Kyle? Uh, I believe you. I, I think you very much could rock the Mandarin dress. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. No, no, no. So we gotta take it as a whole with the character, cause, cause a lot of these these outfits are very good, most of them. But we are judging it on the character, and because of the character, I gotta give this a seven out of ten. Mm, you, 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 you fucking ruined it, Rig, with your fucking Dumbo ears. <laughs> Careful, he'll hear that. <laughs> gotta play matchmaking a little bit, and fucking a Rig main's gonna be like, you fucking challenge me. All right, so what do you think? It just rem- it reminds me of that Family Guy skit where Peter's talking shit about Ben Stiller, and Ben Stiller flies out and nowhere and hears him and says, I heard everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't give it any higher than a seven because of his face. His, it's not even his face. He, he has a good face. It's just those fucking ears. Put the hoodie <laughs> on, man. Fuck's sake, give yourself... You know what? Actually, this is Nero's outfit from DMC fucking 6. This is, Or DMC 5. This looks like Nero's outfit. <laughs> it's the same fucking jacket, except it's not mom's fucking missing zippers. No, bro. So what do you think, Kyle? I'm going to be a 7 out of 10, because I, I can't... That face just ruins it. I'm going to get 5. Disappointing. I'm not even looking forward to this one. Good lord. Wait, hang on, hang on a minute. Did they change his fucking tattoos for this one? Okay. Is that an avocado right at the base of his fucking neck? 
The man likes his fruit. <laughs> equations on his he has oh i was gonna say is that the fucking pythagorean theorem he has math egyptian history what the he has pi on his fucking shoulder the symbol for pi is on the base of his fucking left or right neck side oh oh good lord he's a fucking nerd i i know he works on oil rig but doesn't he know what paper is? <laughs> what the fuck are all these? Dude, is that a height t divided by two calculation? What is this? But Man. what's with the like? What, if I if if I what's with out... the scales of what's with the scales on the back? Oh my god! There's also an egg by the looks of it, like a broken egg. Oh, uh, okay. You know what? Uh, at first, I was gonna give this one a really bad fucking review, but the tattoos have caught my attention so much. I, I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. I haven't even noticed his fucking face. I'm gonna say eight because the tattoos are bad, are bad, but they're funny bad. <sighs> right here. No, okay, no, 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 no. Oh, oh fuck! Like I think he could rock this if he had solidly good tattoos. <laughs> oh, I just, uh, yeah, All right, moving on. Uh, seven out of ten. Happy wedding costume. Oh, well, this hurts me to say this. Guy. Great skin. <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. Actually, okay, you know what? Oh. He, his face doesn't look as bad. It doesn't look <laughs> as bad in this one. I don't know what it is about his man in There's a suit, like but you always look better in a suit. He looks better, but he doesn't look like he's going to a wedding. He looks like he, he looks like he's about to be invited in to suck someone's blood. He looks like a vampire. <laughs> Just fucking, he looks like he's about to be on the next set of John Wick. Like, uh, oh, that's good. Look at him. If this motherfucker came to my house, I'd say, no, you're not coming in. You're a, you're a vampire. I like having my blood where it is, yeah, sir. Like you be gone. Here, so be I, I'm gonna give this one. I'm gonna give this one a solid nine out of ten, though, because the, the suit just looks fucking nice, and it makes his face look less fucking terrible, similar to the deluxe costume. But this one doesn't weigh. The better. wine red suit with. With the black undershirt and especially the silver tie really does make it work. This man over here fucking dominating in a way I didn't expect him to be dominating, I will admit. He's even got a fucking black handkerchief in his pocket. It's a leather black handkerchief. It's leather. It's not oh, even like yeah. an actual fucking handkerchief. This guy is a fucking villain. <laughs> <laughs> He's a movie villain. Diana? Well, uh, I think we'll give it a 9 out of 10. Uh, I I'm going to call it now, similar to Bass. It's uh -huh. probably going to be his best skin. Yeah, probably. Moving on. Pirates of the Caribbean. Fuck, the ears I pushed know, the beanie to the, the fu- Oh the my Canada goodness! Lulu's cannon. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the fuck? Okay, okay, let's, let's look at everything else. Oh my god, it Xbox oh my god, it's William game. Turner. <laughs> he does have a pistol, and what the a, pistol does look nice. What a name, Diana. Uh, the the outfits... Gamer. Gosh darn it, I can't get past the fucking ears. Oh, was that your dad? Oh. Tell, me that, tell me that that is not William Turner from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> like, he needs a green bandana, and I'd be sold. Playing. And what am I playing on? Practically one for one. <laughs> Just so, for this costume, I want him to be voiced by a little bit blue. I don't want anybody to be confused about him. Uh, the yellow on the black, the, the yellow on the jacket He's looks like, great. The jacket looks way too white. Looks like super bright. Oh, oh, uh, the math equations are still and visible though. The Xbox thank, game. thank, uh, thank yeah. God. <laughs> I am the Xbox gamer three hundred for three thousand five hundred forty seven. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten because <laughs> the outfit's fine, but I just can't get past that. I just can't get past his fucking know, his and, winning and features. I would generally. <laughs> what the? Are you great? Another case. Maybe, maybe it'll be just me, but I don't know, man. I just I just can't get past it. Last time I jumped in one of those, uh, I got what about you, Kyle? <laughs> I was like, hey. I mean, it's William like, Turner. How <laughs> how can you say no, to William Turner? And then it was like death. 
Well, what are you thinking, man? We actually didn't even die. His, his chance of getting a good review lies solely on you. Oh, we're in the circle. Well, we got like no loot. Uh, his score is how well he can he can man the flying Dutchman. <laughs> it's not seaworthy. I don't know. I'm probably gonna go with an eight. Anyway, that's fine. If you if you can look past those fucking ears, kudos to you, baby. Look, okay, if that well, beanie, if that beanie was any tighter, it'd cut them ears off. <laughs> All right, so we're back to seaside eating. So instead of having a speedo, he has shorts this time. Um, I'm gonna rate this one the same as the seaside eating. I think I gave the seaside eating a seven out of ten. Hi, right, Kyle. Are you there? Uh, yeah. I'm still waiting for it to load. Oh, okay. No, damn it. I mean, it's basically just his last one where we just saw his tattoos. I mean, it, it looks the. Like... It's not Christmas. Wait, 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 wait. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. Does he have a? Uh, does he have different tattoos on this one? No, no, he doesn't. They're the same tattoos. I'm sure get the same one as Seaside Eden. Uh, yeah. Here, right, moving on. Morphe Ninja costume. I didn't realize there'd be a bad fucking skin in this lineup. Son of a bitch. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Whoa. I I didn't realize oh and the katana looks good the katanas look good no <laughs> what is he this? looks like that he looks like that one Naruto <laughs> cosplayer <laughs> what the fuck is this oh okay oh this is a oh, base oh no someone's played someone's played Ninja Garden one and never made it for the rest of them no, no they're not. it's a base. <laughs> Someone's played Prince of Persia and thought, what if he was a ninja? <laughs> Fuck I like, me. I like those games. <laughs> and the gold looks good. Everything that's supposed to look good looks good, but it's such a fucking stupid outfit. It's all shiny and it looks good. <laughs> yeah, like all the aesthetics are good and then they're just like, we're going to put it on fucking pie over here. <laughs> oh fuck me! Okay, I was gonna say that. You know what's the worst right part? What is that? The headband and the mask just highlight his ears. <laughs> oh no! It's the only part that's left. <laughs> oh no! I didn't think there would be a bad skin in this lineup. How is this possible? And the tattoos. The tattoos aren't gonna save it this time. Not with the ears being that prominent. Fuck me, everything but... Why not a shirt? Zim. Zim, it's extremely practical, and let me tell you why. If he gets in trouble, he can just fly away. <laughs> oh, fuck me, why? All he's missing now is a fucking container full of sand. Diana, come on. Come on. Can, can someone please animate a fight where he's... Fighting Ryu and just to get away, he uses his ears to start flapping and lifts <laughs> off away. Oh fuck me! Oh, this reminds me of my childhood because me and my brother got made fun of a lot for our fucking uh, proportions. Uh, because my forehead is like fucking just what the heck was that? Oh, it's a fucking landing pad. But my brother had big ears when he was a kid, so uh, oh, my cousin fucking made fun face. of us because we had fucking oh, like big feeling. old features. He grew into his ears, though. I didn't, I don't think I grew into my forehead. Attack! That's what fringe is <laughs> before. <laughs> Kayla, keep moving. Don't stand still. Okay, I'm gonna have to say this. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but the only reason this isn't getting a flat fucking one for how stupid <laughs> it fucking is. Because keep the stand gold still. and silver and oh, okay. I'm giving it a three because I can't give it a fucking two. I know it's, that's a lot of thinking, but I'm giving no, you. It's a four. Everything I want to be good is good. It just looks so fucking stupid. I'm giving it a six for practicality. For the fact that he can get away. 
I'm giving it. Oh, I fucking. Uh, this is up? so sad. What? Wait, wait, hang on a minute. He does not. He way? does not get a Black Santa outfit. Are you kidding me? So is that is that only for Bass then? Did Bass get the only way? Black Santa outfit? Oh fuck! Well, Cool Santa wins out. I guess. I guess he's gonna be the best one of that skin set. Why does he look fat? <laughs> well, it is a Santa outfit, so we can we we can assume there's pet. Oh man, but yeah, that's not helping his cause at all. Look like he gave up. <laughs> this is after losing the Dead or Alive tournament to fucking Hanukkah. <laughs> he gave up. <laughs> uh, it's a if six. I got beaten by, if I got beaten by a six my sixteen year old Japanese woman, I probably would too. <laughs> it's okay, she has demon powers. It's a little okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a six out of ten because uh it's I mean, it's a Santa outfit, but it's not a very good outfit for Rig. It looks bad. <laughs> Dude, who knew Bass was saved by a fucking cool Santa outfit? It fits on Bass. Why does this look so <laughs> bad on Riggs? They should have tried to go for, like, a thin Santa or a sexy Santa outfit for Riggs. They, well, fuck no, because then we get the fucking tattoos again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't do this. This is gonna be this is gonna be either a six or five out of ten for me. It's not completely awful, but it, it's probably no. It's not as worse skin. I, I'd still say more if we made it was a bigger fucking disappointment. I'm gonna say five. All right. Uh, so very clearly, he has two good skins. Maybe three if you want to count the uh, deluxe costume and CSI Eden. in. I'm not gonna count them as two separate costumes. They're the same fucking outfit. We have the wedding outfit, and then we have. His default outfit, which I think might be the only character we're ever going to say this for. I'm probably going to say the the wedding outfit. Wedding outfit? Yeah, it just looks better, and it fixes his face. Like, it's the one... So, the hood is good because it hides his face. This one is good because it just, like... I can ignore his facial problems. Like, I can ignore the fucking helicopter fucking airplane blades he's got there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be the best skin. Nine out. He had, he had no ten out of tens, but I'm gonna give this one nine out of ten. This was his best skin. I think it's a nine out of ten. I'm gonna give it a ten. You're gonna give it a ten? Yeah. All right. So, overall, Rig is a character. I'm giving him a four out of ten. <laughs> if it wasn't for the ears, I'd put him higher. Yeah, but his face just ruins half the skins he's in. And the only skins that are good is the ones that fucking hide his ears. So I don't know, I'm the worst part is, he's my main. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kyle, your main has a shit fucking wow. variety of skins. Yeah, incredible. It's alright. At least if he takes me at least if he takes me for a flight, I can still listen to the radio. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to You know If we win by Maybe goodness, five out of ten. Awesome. Because his good skins were good, but he had but almost all the skins were bad. Or if they weren't bad, they were mediocre. He had. Uh -oh. He literally had four four good ones, and the uh -oh. four and the other three were literally the same I'm one in three different colors. Oh, <laughs> uh, maybe if his tattoos were better too. No, I, I'm sorry. I'm moving away from my original Brady. I'm sticking at four out of ten. The men were done dirty in this game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, men were done dirty as shit this game. But, like... Well, yeah, DLC-wise. But... Their hairstyles. Base their base outfits are it, it, says, it says hairstyles. Does that mean you can give them different hairstyles? Uh, let me check. Uh, let me check. Let me go to Seaside Eden Rig, because I or let me go to the last costume, because I do love that one. Nope, Rig only has a bus cut. I was gonna say. Uh, you want glasses though? Um. Oh boy, I don't prefer, prefer, prefer that. I can give him glasses. Let's just let, let's just let them wait themselves off. <laughs> All of the glasses. Oh uh, no! Look like a douchebag. <laughs> Oh, those glasses. There's, like, you can give them any glasses. Oh my god, go back up. 
Which one? Uh, can you say which one? Go back up. It was one of the the dark shade ones. Okay, so there's Bass's sunglasses, Bass's favorite sunglasses, uh, Hayate sunglasses, and John Lee sunglasses. That one. <laughs> That's those are the glasses that Rude wears in the new Final Fantasy. Are you serious? Yeah, good yes. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I'm gonna have to stick with four out of ten for this guy. He's just uh. I'm disappointed. Now he looks like part of the Turks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he actually has his own sunglasses. Uh, they're aviators. I actually love all that bet on him. Diana, that's a mission for you and your right. Try to yeah. shoot it somewhere where like you'll right. take it down. Uh, 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 try to shoot. Uh, can you the, give your uh, overall rating before you go? The actual. I'm gonna structure. give it. You know, I probably right, six because uh, he, uh, he needs it. Under the head of it. <laughs> All right, Kyle. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Can't wait to do the next one. Diana, uh, how about, can, can you can you work? No it? problem. And oh wow, this one's actually longer than the uh, than the original one. And for us, do you watch this? <laughs> no, 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 don't shoot. Have a nice day. We'll see march. you guys on next stream. Oh, uh, I'll move, see you move. on the next streamer video, and we'll see if Kyle joins us. Diana, just take the shot on the building. Thank you. And you guys have a nice night.